Alrighty, what's up guys? Decided I'll take the bike out and go wash it. I haven't rode in many, many weeks. And trust me, it is unfortunate. Because that means I haven't been posting content for you guys either. I'm doing a lot of car stuff, truck stuff, as you guys can see. But yeah, I'm going to run up to the car wash and spray her down. I forgot to grab a cloth. So I'll have to grab that before I go. Dang, I'm already sweating. I've been in the shade the whole time too. I need to get some new gloves. This is a little trick. All you deers, you guys probably know about this. You just gotta be careful because it will rub right on the where that ignition is. I had to go get some new pants because my other one's ripped out in my crotch. Oh, this is going to be so weird to ride. Like I said, I haven't rode in forever. Man, it already feels so good. I'm trying to be quiet for the dog. I'm going to need to go get my bowels adjusted. I know I definitely probably need an oil change. If that. Gosh, I miss riding. When I first got this thing, my truck broke, of course. Because it got jealous or something. So I actually rode this for a whole week. Until I fixed my truck. I think it was during, I don't know if it was Labor Day or Memorial Day, or whatever, but um, can't tell if my truck's on or not. But um, people are stupid, man. But uh, yeah, so my truck broke, and then by the time I got the right part, which I thought was the right part, and then of course it was the brake booster. So on my year silver auto, there's a couple different ones, and I didn't look at mine, I just figured they are all the same. Because they could look it up by model and everything else. But yeah, so, ordered the brake booster, came after a couple days, was the wrong brake booster. Was Mine was not the common one, I guess, even though my truck is so common like everybody else's. But I guess that was kind of my fault for not taking pictures or looking. Stand. But, um, so yeah, so that was my fault, and, uh, water. That was my fault, but, um, where am I going with this story? Okay, but, that's how I rode this bike every day, and I loved it. But it was because my truck was broken, and then I finally got the right part, and it was a brake booster, like I said, so it was really hard to get to, and it just really sucked. I should have checked my gas. That's the one thing about these DRZs is they uh, they don't, have a, they don't have a fuel gauge. That's quite the bump there. I wasn't fully ready for it. Hand signals, downshift, brake. I gotta clean all this rust off my brakes too. I kind of uh, keep this thing under a, a tarp in my backyard. So, I know some of you know where I live, but trust you enough for the most part. Oh man, I feel great with that breeze though. I miss this. I got my fanny pack, I'm a microfiber. It's gonna be a good day. But yeah, figured I'd just make this video. A little short video for you guys. Tell you I'm still live. I've been slacking on the videos. I think I said this earlier, I might have cut it out by now. But I uh, I've been doing a lot of car stuff and truck stuff I guess put long tubes on my truck yada 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 lowered it everything else and of course now I have my topper back on so if I go to take my ground anywhere it, uh, it's really inconvenient but it fits it does I found that out but I also scratched my uh, side plastics at the same time so it's kind of hurt about that the bike was really clean and now it's this little flaw that I see every time I get on the bike but yep, I haven't ordered any other ground parts or anything like that. Um, 
I got that new white Nissan though. I'll start making videos on that. I was gonna post a little, little introduction video of it, but I didn't. But it's a 1988 Nissan 300ZX. I uh, got it actually a couple blocks down from my house. Took the uh, the DRZ out a couple months ago, just around the block, and uh, what do you call it? It was sitting in the driveway. And I was like, oh shit. So I. Uh, Left a note in the dude's window and he called me back a couple days later. Came and checked it out. I said, Hey, I want that. I'll take it. And so I bought it. And uh, yeah, so I own that now. I still live with my parents, and my, uh, my mom wasn't too happy about it. But it is what it is. I'm also working on getting a shop. That's gonna kind of suck payment wise because I got myself into these situations. But I just need to be more financially smart. But you know how that is. Everyone's gonna have everything new and then they get themselves some payments and then it sucks, it really does. But I've been trying to do more car work here on the sides and whatnot. I don't know, I almost wanna get into detailing or some welding shit, or I should say stuff. For once I uh, get my shop, I need to get a nice welder too because of the things that I have planned, which is I would like to LS swap my Nissan, the one that I was just talking about, the white Nissan 300ZX. I'd really like to do that and film and everything there, and that way I can keep everything I own there because I have my stuff kind of spread out at the moment, and I don't really like that. My hands are going to get all wet, but so is my bike. But, uh, I think it'll be fine. I gotta make sure I don't show my numbers. I know my previous video. I got really close to showing my numbers. And then I had people texting me. And everything else. Maybe I'll just cut that out. It's probably best if I just cut it out. Um, pre soap? Soap wash? I have these big scuffs on my bike that I really hate. Does this not work? Oh. She works. It wasn't making any sound. I think I need to get a new plate too. This plate's uh, all cracked as you can see right there. It'd be like that sometimes. This thing's not too dirty. Like I said, it's been under a tarp though. So I feel bad for it. I feel bad for it, the bike, the tires, everything. It was so clean and then like I said, it's all scuffed up now. And I know it's gonna be like that, especially being a supermoto and going on trails and hitting curbs and everything else, but I feel bad. Like I, I like keeping things clean and having nice stuff, but it's just uh, really fun when you don't fully care at the same time. Even though I'm not good at wheelies, that's what the ground's for. Man, I love these wheels. I would shut my visor, but I'm afraid it's going to get so hot. But yeah, the bike I wanted was actually the uh, the 19, the uh, the white, uh, white, black, and red with the gold wheels too. I think my buddy actually just picked one up. I know a lot of the other you guys here in Omaha. At least we usually all ride, but I had some things change and whatever else. So yeah. But to get to where I was going with this was, I really wanted that one. Every time I was like, ooh, I wanna go look, it was always there. So that was awesome, because I could see it, you know, but it wasn't mine. And I finally am serious about it. Oh, my rear peg's down. I go in to buy one, it sold. And it was really unfortunate for me. Fortunate for whoever bought it, because they got it. But I got this one that had like, made uh, less than 50 miles on it 2018 i got a better price for it because it's sitting in the lower level of dylan brothers so now she's mine and i've had her for a while a couple thousand miles on her like i said i don't ride her too much anymore as much as i want to being i only had a learner commit which i fully didn't care but i just feel like i'm that unlucky to uh I would just be lucky enough for something like that to happen and then I would get 
ticketed and that's just waste more of my fun money that I don't have, you know? So other than that, I haven't been riding much and playing it safe. Like I said, it really sucks at the same time though. But also with that, I, like I said, I don't know, I've just been doing more car stuff if anything. But I filmed a couple videos of, I see the LS truck intake manifold and I thought about posting that, but that manifold's still not done yet. Because I have to do a bunch of other things to it. And I don't want to post a video if it's just half assed or, like I said, halfway done. Because then, I don't know, like, I can sit there for hours and go through footage and edit a video. But if I truly don't like the way it came out, I just, I won't post it because I'm not satisfied with it. And I don't know if anyone else does this that makes videos, but I want to sit there and I want to watch my video and actually like entertain myself and feel good about it rather than knowing I half ass this video just to get stuff out. <laughs> we'll do drier. We'll give her a good blow. Everybody loves a good blow. I think at least. Where's it at? It's over here. Ooh, she do be blowing. I kinda wanna let this thing go. Oh, it's not even eventful. Kind of eventful. Why'd I bring a rag if I could just do this? Probably because this is gonna take forever. And then it's gonna charge me more money. This does work good for bikes though. I forgot the head this. My butt's still gonna get all wet. Clean the grips off nice. I need to get some different ones. Oh, actually, I think at my buddy's house, I have a different set of them in my basement. Something like that. Oh, that's great. That's great. I think it's tough anyway. It's just a bike here. Everyone on the DRG page is like, oh, give this new escape. I went to Shields and got it, and uh, it just blows around in the wind the whole time. It's only really decent if you uh, try out stoplights. Then it's just not sitting there flapping around. I need to wax this thing. But that's what I was talking about earlier. I guess I got off topic like I always do. But um, so much water is going to fall out of this thing. All these scuffs right here, if you guys can see that. I had my freaking hat on my belt loop for my jeans. And uh, I didn't realize it. Of course, I rode for a little bit and then hopped off and scuffed up that whole side plastic. It makes me sad about it, but I guess I can get some different graphics, but at the same time I love the way this old all black looks. I do like the graphics though. Some of these graphics that they have are pretty sweet. Oops, sorry GoPro. I need to take that sticker off too. All these stuff from shoe prints and whatever else. I'm gonna like hold this in up when the air comes out. It's just gonna blow on that little side. It will go right up around Zerinsky after this. See what's popping there. I know my girlfriend just got off to work. I think it takes close to come over or something, but like I said, guys, I just want to make this video. I haven't really been posting anywhere like I used to. But uh, I guess with everyone else in the group, if you guys have seen them in other videos, uh, all my other friends got Groms pretty much. Got Groms, a bunch of other stuff. Groms, FCO7, FCO9. So I just really need to get out and ride with them. Ty, FU Ty, I think it's still his YouTube channel name if he hasn't changed it. He's currently deployed in Japan right now. 
but we still play Xbox every now and again and whatever else. We should be back in a couple of weeks. It's probably nice when we can ride with them. Man. Like, I want to use this microfiber, but I don't want to get it all soaked wet and then shove it back in my waist. Good enough. We'll stop there. How much is that? Five bucks? I'll take it. Oh, this man's on the phone. He probably think I'm coming for him. Shit. Shit. Paige has to notice me by now. I knew that was you. I was like, did she not see me? Oh. 